Welcome, Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, so for you this can resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. We have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So somebody clearly has some type of karmic obstacle or challenge to overcome, something to heal from. Let's see what's going on here more specifically. Let me grab my deck. All right, clear messages and guidance for the Capricorn Collective. What is going on here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, please. What is the energy? Wow, okay. There's such strong emotions here. And the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody might be like a workaholic or something like that. Um, There's something about some kind of past situation that somebody keeps reflecting over and over and over and on. Like something they wish they had done differently or they presented themselves differently. Like they're almost like ashamed of some kind of past behavior. Your person, you, some of you this could be a friendship that, that's developing or growing into something more. But I think the thing about it is you've been like the main support person to them. Like you've been there for them. You've been uplifting, supporting, trying to help them to heal, to, to have more confidence in themselves, to feel more sure of themselves. Like you've been there, like supporting them, even the, the small accomplishments, like, you know, cheering them on. Like they're drawing strength from their connection with you. Some of you, this may even be like a telepathic connection. Like spiritually, you guys may be talking to each other or having dreams about each other. But you love this person. And not only that, you know, I think you really do support each other. Your person's energy. Now, again, now you could be dealing with a strong um, Capricorn energy or Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. But I do kind of get this emphasis of this person just being so like hyper fixated on like working, earning money. Some of them may even have like an addiction to work or like a, a spending kind of thing that's not for all of you that could be so specific but this king of pentacles here this person's been really focused on like their stability their success their family you know their responsibility this person is very family oriented though so i mean that is a positive thing the energy between you is love there's unconditional love here my cup runneth over this is about friendship connection fulfillment this is so infinite possibilities, feeling reassured in the situation. You really do love and support each other. And this person does want a higher level of commitment with you. But the issue here is some kind of choice, some kind of decision, something that needs to be decided. Like, will this person make the changes that are necessary here to make this work? So let's find out more about it. What do they think about you? Two of Wands, you see a future with them. But you also have a lot of high hopes and expectations for your future. Like you know what you want in life. You're very giving. Some of you might be teachers or healers, nurses, doctors, something like that. You, there's a lot of things that you want to accomplish and to do. You're so loving and nurturing, compassionate. You're so accepting, so healing. You've been there for them. Some of you could have strong water in your chart, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There are such strong feelings that they have for you. They're very aware of this. Like six, of, six of cups. Again, this is just somebody who is constantly giving and doing for others. Like you're very charitable. Some of you may have children or they may think of you as somebody who really wants to have a family. Like that's really important to you. If not that, it's just that you're always giving to the people around you. Like you're always pouring from your cup to take care of other people. That's why it's so important for them to like nurture and give back to you and support you. Like they definitely see you as somebody who needs that. That equal exchange of, of emotions, feelings. Their feelings for you. They're 
extremely strong feelings this person has for you. But I think the, th the biggest thing is you may even doubt this or question this. Like, I think you know this person loves you, but to what extent? Because one thing that always stands out to me about this specific card, again, male, female, doesn't matter. This person is, is offering a cup, but look at that tidal wave of emotion. There's so much behind it they're not saying. This person may have a hard time fully ex expressing to the to an extent like what they feel or what they desire. What are their feelings, please? What are they feeling? They okay. Some okay, for some of you, this could be specific. There may have been a past situation where maybe things ended with you. Some of them could be healing from a situation where they lost either a child or a mother because there's a lot of like emotional feelings here this person's trying to process through that could be a part of their fear there may have been like a mother figure or someone in their life who like was lost or maybe wasn't present in their life because queen of pentacles ten of swords it can talk about loss pain betrayal like that may be a part of it some of them could be grieving through like some kind of divorce or separation or ending because a divorce is often often like a death. It's, it's it's the ending of something that will never be what once was, but will never be again. Some of them may have children that depend on them, and that's where they have to really step into this role as the King of Pentacles and take care of someone. There's a lot of pain here. They're not really expressing everything. I think this person is dealing with some things internally they haven't really fully opened up about. As much as you do talk and communicate and support each other, there's still things that they haven't really ex expressed to you that really could help you understand whatever this struggle is for them. Their intentions with the King of Wands. Now, could we deal with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? What are their intentions here with King of Wands? Okay, well, quite a lot of things coming out here. We have clarifiers, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Rods, the Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. Well, I think this person doesn't doesn't plan on giving up on the situation with you. They're wanting to kind of give it time. I think what you can, you know, expect from this person really here is kind of this inconsistent back and forth energy. Somebody who's not sure they want to commit, but they will eventually open up about their desires. You know, eventually they plan to like, you know, eventually give more, to do more, to step into this role of the Emperor Aries energy and take control and, and offer some kind of stability but right now their intention is this will happen with us in the future but I don't know when exactly I want to kind of take this slow what the actions here say with the death card what does this say no okay. what actions please okay well, we're getting, getting quite a lot of stuff happening here what you can expect from them you definitely could be dealing with a Leo or a water sign. A lot of fire, a lot of water, Scorpio. I feel like this person, to be honest, I think that there's something that they're struggling with. There's some kind of trauma or pain from the past. This person's trying to mask or cover. I think your person, even though they are kind of family oriented and do kind of want the same things, they do imagine like a life with you. They dream of it, they desire it. They're also really afraid. Like they're afraid of getting hurt. But I think that their intention is to kind of stick it out and kind of just playfully just see how things go, kind of be back and forth, and eventually they do imagine that they'll, they'll move forward with you. I think that their actions here really show that this person will kind of communicate some of the things that they've been hiding back and opening their heart, expressing their true feelings for you, which can really change things. But do I feel like it's immediate? No, I don't feel like it's immediate. I feel like... What you can expect now is more so like an inconsistency, like a back and forth, a hot and cold, and in and out. And again, this is general. This is not a personal reading. I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust who will ultimately tell you the truth. There's also a link in the description box for how to book with me specifically. Eight year situations can be different. This reading could resonate for 10 people, 100 people, even 1,000 or more people. So... Take what resonates. I think that this person is going to be opening up their feelings to you, their concerns, and may, may even talk about some type of loss in their life. What messages would this person want to pass to you, to the Capricorn Collective? What messages would this person like to pass to you? Okay. They're saying, I crave your touch. 
some of you, this person could even have like a, a lust addiction or a type of addiction they're struggling with. We do have codependency here. Wow, they're saying, I never told you how much I appreciate you for loving me when I couldn't love myself. They're saying, I miss the way you put me at ease. You've always been so kind and accepting. Yeah, we talked about that. They feel like you're so generous. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I daydream about the day we will embrace. So they're daydreaming about embracing with you, being with you. They're craving your touch, you know, wanting to be close to you. But again, it's like they're almost like feel protective, like they're not in the right place for you right now, but they love you. Like you've always been that support person for them who's like inspired them and had confidence. Like you loved them and supported them. You believed in them when they couldn't even believe or love themselves. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.